Itachi! <laughs> huh. Things never go as planned, do they? Why? Why are you here? I killed... I'm a product of the reanimation. Reanimation? What do you mean? It's one of my jutsu, Sasuke. My power has brought him back to this world. Now I control the war. With my reanimation, even the five Kage are at my mercy. You think this jutsu is perfect, but it has a weakness. I know what you want to say. I'll answer you once this battle is over and the reanimation is lifted. You always lied. You always told me later and next time. And then you died. So this time... Sure, you keep that promise. All right, here we go, guys. Welcome back. It's your boy Magnifico CA, and we got this awesome, awesome piece here. Sasuke and his brother Itachi in that last couple of battles they had between Danzo and Kabuto. This is a super, super cool one being brought to you from Vinta Studios, the one who just did the Madara statue we covered last time. And this studio does not miss. You can tell just from the boxes here. So we're going to be getting into it real soon. I also wanted to share as well. You're still able to get this one. It is still available in some places, but when you buy both of these together, you should get the special edition piece that's included with it. And that's of Sasuke, Tachi, and their fond farewell. So I can't wait to showcase all of this with you guys. I I'm completely done with school, thank God. We got one more degree. All we right. got all the student loans to show for it too, so. Hey, what happened? <laughs> uh, without further ado, you know how we do it, guys. Let's dive into it. All right, you know me, guys. I always love for us to get an opportunity just to see how amazing the box art is when the studios take the time to put that detail in there. This is the one with Sasuke. I see it brings the same thing together on the backside. As we work our way over, you'll see this is the piece with Itachi, and man. Your box art looks as good. You don't want to throw this away either, huh? And finally, finishing things off. This is the special collector's item I got for purchasing both. Super cool. All right, guys, here we go. Let's take a look and see what we got. Let's get it guys. It looks like everything was expertly packed. I doubt we'll be dealing with any breaks this time. Fingers crossed. Next up guys, we're down here taking a look at our base with the face of the Susano. I always like to start from the foundation up, so let's begin here. So first up guys, we got our base here. And just to give us a little bit more perspective, I actually ended up getting a scale. So now we're gonna be able to see the actual weight. So maybe if you guys are planning to build your own collection, you can get an idea of maybe some of the weight requirements you'll have for your shelving. This is what the base looks like here. See Sasuke's name on the back there. And let's put it on the scale. So this by itself is 2.49 kilograms or five and a half pounds. Let's go ahead and put that piece up here. Let's begin to build it out. All right, guys, so some of these pieces are so intricate. I was like, let me go ahead and get some gloves for this. I don't want to mess anything up. This is one that doesn't actually come with the instructions, and that's okay. Not, not all your statues are going to come with things like that. A good rule of thumb is just to build things up from biggest to smallest, or at least that's what we're going to go with here. So let's give it a try. All right, guys, this is the next piece here. This is the face of Susano. You can see this is almost as big as my face. This is an amazing piece. It also has plenty of strong magnets here and here, bring in the attached pieces. So let's go ahead and try to mount this. It's in there nice and secure, guys. Following things up, we have the body of Sasuke. 
This here is the left arm of Donzo, where you can see all the showering guys he stole from the clan. My goodness, guys, look at the level of detail on this resin, man. Everything is perfectly sculpted. I just have not seen anything that looks like this before, guys. This might easily be my most impressive statue yet. That part attached comfortably into the base like so. Here we go, guys. This is that token. You can see the Ventus logo at the top, Uchiha Sasuke at the bottom. And of course, flip it around to see that manga cue. And you can also see with this, which edition I got. So this is number 218 out of 454. Very nice. Next up, we got the spine of Susano. Let's go ahead and bring that to the base. This is another effect piece. This attaches on like so. We got another effect piece here. This one attaches over the side like so. Again here we have another effect piece. This will go over the other side of the Susano. This one is hand painted and we have another strong magnet at the bottom. So let's get it attached. Next up we're attaching the head piece for Donzo. This one's a little tricky to find, but it actually goes over here. Magnetically attaches just like that. Oh my goodness, this is the other display bus here. And boy, there's some detail there. Especially to that tough wound that Sasuke took there. And there you have it, guys. Let's see which one we want to display. Guys, this is probably the best rendition of a blade I've seen for Sasuke. I don't know if this is actual metal or steel, but it has a good deal of weight to it and it just feels a lot more sturdy. Finally, guys, it wouldn't be complete if we didn't top it off with the Hawk Team Taka. Look at the detail on this, even down to the talons. This goes at the top like so. All right, guys, this is option number one. And then this is a different variation of the first option with the face. And this is option number two here, guys. Man, this might be the most detailed rendition of a Chidori I've seen captured with resin out of any statue. This is just absolutely beautiful. Not only do they use like a translucent resin, there's also elements of almost like a holographic kind of purple bluish tint. This is the ultimate way to capture lightning. And this is the Chidori blade for the bus that we're gonna display outside of the statue. Finally then, let's go look at how that bus is gonna look of Sasuke. I don't know if you guys can quite tell, but man, even the detail on his clothing looks so cool, man. Yeah, this one here looks awesome. Also, as I've been wanting to capture, let's go ahead and try to get a good look at how much it weighs as well. Here's one more time. That's Sasuke, the bus. And this one in particular is 0.34 pounds. Finally, let's go ahead and get the weight for the main attraction, as well as my preferred display option for Sasuke. So it looks like this one comes out to 11.58 pounds, or 5.25 kilograms. Next up, we're gonna do this amazing piece here. Let's see what we got, guys. Here we go, guys. So I thought maybe Ventus didn't include this stuff this time, but no, they definitely did. Here's the art piece. They gave us some gloves. Just like the Madara piece. They're not going to cheat you. Alright, so this is the concept art of Itachi. So the postcard just has that piece there. that guys so that's what they drew up first that's what the second piece is gonna look like and 
Next, this is a look at our assembly instructions. Oh wow, yeah, this one is more detailed, so it's like a full book here. It has the order in which to put everything together. All right, so let's go ahead and bring out the next big piece. So we can go ahead and turn this one over as well. Just like before, your more intricate pieces are at the, the top. Then our base is going to be at the bottom. Let's take a look at that next. As always, first up we have our base here. And just like the previous one, you have the Tachi print on the bottom. Let's put that up here. Alright guys, so following the instructions, we actually have to put up Kabuto piece first. This is the first part of the base. And this is one of the Sage Mode White Snakes. And you can see the level of detail in that, even down to its mouth. And that's going to attach right here to the chest. Let's get that in there, just like that. And finally, that base is going to connect to this. This thing will ride perfectly. There's no brakes, no chips. It looks amazing. Let's go ahead and attach it. Take a look at that, guys. That's what it looks like. Next up, we should be able to start applying some of our smaller effect pieces. We have another stalactite piece right here from the cave. This one's actually numbered, by the way, too. So some of them do have the numbered pieces on there so you know where they go. We have our next stalactite piece here. This is number five. Almost forgot, and we got to showcase the hand of Susano as well. Look at that, you can see all the joints. You know when this comes out, it's serious business right here. Let's get ready to put this on. This one has two very big magnets at the back. Make sure it goes in there very securely. Just perfect. And of course, we got a lot more effect pieces here, so let's get this attached. This is number seven. Another one of the flames here. And this is number eight, so this goes in there just like so. Looks like number nine is gonna follow up right here beside it, just like that. And this piece is number 15, that's gonna connect right in front of the hand here. This is number 14, and that's right near 15 in front of the hand as well. Whoops, guys, the smaller version of 15 actually goes over Did there. Do something and then there's wrong? another one that's labeled 15 <laughs> as well. The bigger one's gonna go over here. Now that's making more sense. Let's get that attached. Now that looks better, don't you think? Next up, this is number 12, another effect piece that goes right on the other side of the hand. Perfect, just like that. So stalactite piece number two is actually gonna go right in front of the face. Piece number 10 goes to the back side over here. Alright guys, we're almost done with these effect pieces. This is number 4. This one goes right in front of the mass. Just like so. 13 is another one that goes right in front of the hand. Right up under there. And guys, I think we're at our final effect piece. Another stalactite. This is number 9. This is going to attach right in there. Now next up guys, of course we gotta take a look at the bus. Edo Tensei Itachi, you can see the details on the clothing. Like the other Uchiha, we got his Mangeku Sharingan at the bottom. Here we go. And of course it wouldn't be a proper Ventus piece if it didn't have the medallion included as well. You can see the studio name at the top. And we got Uchiha Itachi this time. Flip it to the back. This time we got his Mangeku Sharingan making that collection complete. Three of the most important ones right there, Madara, Sasuke, and Itachi. Gotta love that. You'll see mine is number 353 or 454. Made in the world. A beautiful collector's piece. Let's go ahead and put this one in its proper place. Alright guys, just like that. They're all there. Now let's put Itachi together. Let's get it. First up, we got the headpiece for Sage Mo Kaputo. They got all the details down to his glasses. Of course, don't worry about that little chip on his horn because that's actually canon. That's what happened in the actual series. So everything is perfect. We have nothing to fix this time. So that part attaches on here just like so. Next up, we're gonna attach the body of the anti-hero himself that all us guys know and love, Itachi. 
next up, it wouldn't be Itachi if we didn't have his infamous crows in here as well. Let's go ahead and attach these. This one connects right at the top. We have another one here that's gonna attach in the corner. I don't know if you guys noticed too, underneath the wings it almost has like this iridescent kind of color to it. It's kind of, it's very neat. This one's gonna attach off the corner here. Just like that. And guys, I actually found one more little stalactite piece. This is number three. I almost couldn't find where it was, but we only got one opening left, so it has to go here. Yeah, just like that. All right, guys, continuing on. They actually include one of the crows to rest on the shoulder of Itachi on the bus. So how cool is that, guys? A lot of lovely details, even down to the talons. You can see the little indentations for the feathers. Let's go ahead and attach them right on the arm just like that and now let's get the head pieces now before you put any headpiece on for Itachi just know they do include his necklace as well for both the actual statue as well as the bus so let's throw those on and then of course for the actual piece we want to showcase let's get one of those on as well so this is our first headpiece option here for Itachi let's go ahead and connect option number one hey just like that that looks awesome so this is option number one right here guys where you have Itachi with both of his Mangekyou shotting guns jumping back with the kunai again give you guys an option to see all the detail to the way those things come together just beautifully now the second variation with the left arm just adds a whole another level of savagery because you got Itachi actually catching one of the white snakes and holding it at bay I just love that it's just showcasing how much of a genius he is man even with all the ability that Kabuto had Itachi can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody so you gotta love what that looks like amazingly done I don't know if I mentioned it before but with the snakes you can even actually see down to the details in their mouths where it almost feels like I don't know how they maybe gloss the the resin for this but it almost feels like you can see like the moistness of the mouth too like every detail is captured perfectly here Beautiful. And just when you thought that was it guys, that is not all. We actually have one more variation and this is the part where Itachi grabbed Sasuke's sword and this is where he cut off a piece of Kabuto's horn to trap him in the Izanami. And that is just, oof, that is what you call an amazing piece right there. That has crazy detail. Just like the other part we did with Sasuke, the sword has that same weight and detail to it. So again, I'm sure they use some sort of metal or steel to sculpt that. Just adding another level of authenticity to the piece. And that looks crazy, guys. I love it. Finally, guys, this is the last headpiece. Alright guys, and just like last time, we need to capture the weight. So you'll see with this one on the scale, this one actually comes out to be 12.38 pounds. Or if we translate that, that comes out to 5.62 kilograms. We didn't actually have an opportunity to put the Madara statue to scale, but now that we finally do have it, let's take a peek at that one as well, just to follow up. We see this one comes in at actually 11.22 pounds. So this one's very close to the one uh, with Sasuke in terms of weight. All right, guys. So this is what these two legendary pieces look like thus far. Everything has came together quite nicely.
Alright guys, and just like that, we're ready to dive into this final piece. Again, this is not one you can buy separately. This is a special edition if you grab these two awesome pieces together. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Sasuke and Itachi, man. This is their last moment together. Not holding anything back. No remorse, no regrets. Itachi's final words for Sasuke. No matter what you do, I will always love you. All right, here it is, guys. Itachi, who sacrificed everything for his brother, his reputation, his clan, his little brother was the one thing he couldn't give up on. We always have to have hope, and we can't do it by ourselves. Sometimes we have to entrust our hopes and dreams to the future, and that the next generation can step up and carry on what you're doing. Sometimes when we try to do too much on our own, we stumble, but we truly become great when we can trust those around us, and that's what Atachi represents. If you're a fan of Itachi, Sasuke, this is one you gotta have. Gotta put this one in your collection, guys. It's so worth it. Alright guys, that's it. We made it to the end. We got all the statues done with the brothers. These pieces were so amazing, don't you agree? And let me know what you think in the comments. Give me some more suggestions of other pieces you'd like to see, man. I'm always going to include the links to the places where I get these and hopefully you guys can build your collection out too. Immediately after this, I've already received the display case for these statues. So another cool thing I really wanted to showcase is a great way to display these in your home. And I have a custom built display cabinet coming from none other than Majispace, one of the most well-known names when it comes to displaying high-end statues and this is my first time trying their pieces out so I can't wait to showcase that to you guys. It came a little bit earlier than expected so you can never complain about that. We got more pieces coming, Hashirama, Minato, and we got some pieces from One Piece coming man so I can't wait to surprise you with that too guys. As always man we appreciate the love and support. Continue to like, subscribe, and go along these journeys with me and yeah just like that. Until next time, guys, as we always say, man, find purpose through your passions. This is Magnifico CA. We out. There's still time. Sasuke, I always lied to you. I asked you to forgive me, even as I kept pushing you away. I didn't want to pull you in. But now I think of it this way. Maybe you could have changed father, mother, the Uchiha clan. If I'd faced you honestly from the very beginning. If we'd told each other the truth as equals. I failed. I won't put myself above you and tell you this and that. It's too late. So this time for once. Let me tell you one small truth. It's all right if you never forgive me. But... No matter what you become... I will always love you.